Okay, so today we're checking out three listings, two in Royal Highlands, one in Highland Lakes. Yes, and I will preface this with, these are two Pringle-built communities, and they've been sold out since the mid-2000s, and they both have an indoor swimming pool in their amenities. Highland Lakes is a heritage um, tree community, which means they left a lot of green space. They have sweet lakes that are natural lakes that you can fish in. No restaurant, no golf course, so nothing's open to the public in this community. Royal Highlands has your golf course and your restaurant, so that's open to the public as well to utilize, and you have a restaurant on, on your property. Very cool, so we're gonna do a little movie magic. We're actually gonna do this one at the end, and we're gonna go <laughs> pop into uh, Royal Highlands. You guys will see a wardrobe change. It was actually a different day that we filmed it, so. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one's on a cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. Yep, in Royal Highlands. Both of these homes are in Royal Highlands, and this is 21737 Princess Grey, excuse me, Princess Grace Court. And this is a cul-de-sac, very private little area. It is a block and stucco home and the roof is a 2018. The, the home is 1899 square foot under air and it's a 3-2 split floor plan. Cool, and it's a scorcher today. It is a scorcher. So you guys come in July or August if you're worried about the summertime and get climatized to it because it's really not that bad. Hey, this is about as hot as it gets right here. This is as hot as it we gets. We got one of those days. We're filming, though. We're, <laughs> we're in the trenches getting 55 plus content for you guys. All right, let's do this. You ready? Yes, let's go. When you walk into this majestic model, it's a Pringle model, by the way. The Pringle was the builder and he was a custom builder. So some of these models may have little variances depending upon the home because they would custom change things. But it's got the formal living area and dining area that's kind of L-shaped. So this is together and this is beautiful. It's got full-on tile throughout as well as big arched windows so there's a lot of light in this home. If you come this way, and this is the nice thing about the Majestic, is there's ton it's this full-on split plan. Your master's over there, your guest bedrooms are over here. This is your guest bedrooms. A nice big arched window, another window back here against this wall, so there's tons of light in here in a, in a decent sized closet. Uniquely in this bedroom, it's got a door instead of a window. So you can literally go from your, whatever you use this room for, whether it's your office or a guest room. Note it's pretty shady when J Justin does the uh, footage outside. Yeah, out back there's, there's tons of shade. Tons of shade, lots of lots of tree cover, and that might help with the, if you're budget conscious on your utilities, it might help with the coolness of the home mm -hmm. to have Also, this, shade. Also, this Florida room uh, is gonna stay way cooler. Yes, yeah, so let's go look at that. We'll do that next. Now, a lot of people will use their Florida rooms for other additional eating sitting because you have plenty of room in here for a table and all, you know, whatever you want to set this floor to room up. But if you wanted to use that space for something different, you could have eating there and, and even eating here. But this is a glassed in, what we call a Florida room. Lanai would be open and sometimes people will close them in and then we call them a Florida room. Lots of light, these are used a ton. And of course you'll get to see all that beautiful uh, foliage outside your window even though this would be called a standard lot because you've got houses behind you Royal Highlands is known for a lot of green space even between their standard lot houses there's a lot of privacy here so the kitchen you can get through on here and they've got some sweet little touches that they did to make it feel homey they've got their tiled countertops with some bull nose uh, around the edges. You know, this is your standard. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know, that must have been, this. I expect this was probably added for more space, and this is a trash compactor, right? So they they wanted a trash compactor and they squeezed, that's how they redid this. Whoa, what do you mean trash compactor? Oh, right. So that squishes trash up and makes it easier to dispose of. Cool. That's unique. 
This is a gas community, but these folks have a, an electric flat cooktop. So the Listello tile, you know, that you can just tell that they love this house. Pringle also did some rounded corners here. They've got the chair rail molding. And then you've got your breakfast nook area, which has got plenty of room depending upon your needs. This is cool, check this out. Yeah, this so is this where is, rats can hide. Well, <laughs> this is cool. And you know, sometimes that this is useless space, but if somebody does this, then you got, you're not making this useless space. It's pretty ingenious. And just a little bit more storage for those folks that like and put away a lot of stuff. So I have to say that this particular owner, because they are putting all of their stuff in the garage, asked us not to show the garage, so I'm not gonna. But in the garage is a pull down attic storage. It's got a fan, uh, pegboards, which is actually common in a lot of these Pringle homes. That was kind of a thing to do for the guys because they have workshops and things like that. Also, some of these homes will have your washer dryer in the garage. So this one has your laundry inside. So we're walking through this hall now into the master bedroom and again the majestic model this is the floor plan. You've got a big walk in here but you also have another walk in in the bathroom. Tons of storage in this home and they have put some laminate wood floors here and you've got your big windows for lots of light. Again this is some things you know when you're buying a house that was built in 1997 these were standard options. They didn't do the hard granite or that kind of thing. So they updated their kitchen, but this is all probably how it has been since they purchased it. So as a buyer, depending upon your needs, and again, at $325,000, you know, for this size home, it's, it's still a decent deal even if you've got to put some money in it. And I know a lot of you guys are handy and could do it yourselves. So it's just the big ticket items that you kind of have to think through. So this one, this one needs some, some, you know, a, a homeowner that wants to put, put some love in it. And it's in the beautiful community of Royal Highlands. Let's go see. Oh, people always want to know. HOA. HOA. Oh, and on these listings. Let's throw, too. let's throw up Royal Highland, a, just a snippet, yeah. 15 seconds with some information. You ready? All right, let's go check out this next house. It's a $100,000 difference, so it's gonna be exciting to see. The lot is incredible. I think you got some nicer finishes, right? I, I do, it does, but I gotta correct you, it's not $100,000 more. It's $90,000 more. All right, before we go to the next house, if you guys are interested in finding a 55 plus community, it's a great time to start looking. Um, and it's never too early to get connected with someone on our team. If you're interested in buying in a 55 plus community and want to get connected with someone on our team that's an expert in 55 plus communities, or you're thinking about selling, reach out. Uh, you can go to the website, call us, email us. Information will be up on the screen. Let's go to the next house. All right, so we're at house number two in Royal Highlands. Yes. What's the details, Mother Bear? So this is 22003 King Alfred Street. And this one is a 2,264 square foot, three be bedroom, two bath home. It was built in 1999, but your roof is 2019. I know it's hot today. <laughs> Thanks, honey. And your uh, HVAC is 2014. This one's got a lot of upgrades. Let's check it out. Some people call these weeds. I think these are awesome. No, no, this is Florida. This is Florida landscaping. And may I mention- It needs to be trimmed up a little bit here, huh? These are tomatoes. They're cherry tomatoes. Oh, this thing is cool. That's that. beautiful. Literally, oh, these are literally, this, I, someone you know was- this is? This is a poinsettia. So What's our this? poinsettias look beautiful. Oh, I don't know, honey. <laughs> I thought you were the plant lady. No, I'm not the What's plant What's this? Lady. I don't know. Literally, someone was removing like these. elephant ears. Yeah, someone was removing them from the yard. They called them weeds. I'm like, what? Those aren't weeds. Those are gorgeous. We've stepped underneath this beautiful arched uh, entryway, and it is screened. The reason some people might screen in their front porches is just to keep it a little bit cleaner from the weather and the plants. And then often people bugs. sit at the front, and the bugs, they'll sit in the front you know, chat to people on the way by. In the winter time, you'd sit in the front or you'd open this door and you'd have your back door open and your cool breeze would go through. You've got an actual entryway, which is kind of unusual 
right? A lot of these homes don't have this space with a big coat closet, which is unique sometimes too. Look at these so handles. It's, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of unique, ornate decoration in here. I'm gonna tell you guys again, I say this all the time, we didn't turn on a light, and the reason I didn't is because there's a solar tube and it adds natural light, and that's right in, right in your living room. So another unique thing about this home, other than the conservation lot and all of that, is that these folks had already decided to put in some new windows. This has got an open floor plan, which is beautiful. You've got your kitchen in here, which Justin, you can peer over as we walk through. Ta-da! So you've got your kitchen, you've got your Corian countertops. This is definitely a chef's kitchen. You know, you've got your, your cook's top here. You're overlooking the, your living room and your dining area. And you've got plenty of beautiful cabinet space, beveled cabinets with, you know, glass inserts for that beautiful, actually it's a Florida look to me. And you got your wall oven, wall microwave. But note in here, even with this big bay window, in their nook area, and how sweet is that to even have a bench? There's tons of light in this kitchen, and we haven't we haven't touched a thing, folks. Yeah, this, this kitchen is very bright. Beautiful tile, transition into a laminate wood floor. These folks are obviously part of the Pear Park Pilots or their model club because it looks like he's a flyer. How yeah. fun is that? So this is super cool. Hey, doesn't Ro doesn't Royal Highlands have? Um a club? Yes, they do. They're Pear Park pilots. Oh, Pear Park pilots. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they build their planes and then they go fly them at Pear Park. Look how much natural light is in this bathroom. Just imagine taking poops in this bathroom. It's updated. It's got tons of room in it with a walk-in shower. Lots of light. Uh, another oversized bedroom. Big window, and this is likely one of the ones they're replacing. And then the view. I mean... This is all about the view, folks, when you got conservation. Post. Come on, stay there. <laughs> Pendant lighting is absolutely beautiful. Large dining area. This, this separates it. I have had some of the customers that's not load bearing uh, get rid of that. So that's up to you. It makes a nice little sort of unique characteristic of this home is they have a built-in fireplace uh, and it's being um, covered up by a non built-in fireplace it is a gas fireplace and again Royal Highlands and Highland Lakes are both natural gas communities uh, we're walking into the main bedroom and it's a large bedroom big windows nice big slider and justin's going to give you some footage of this lanai and that beautiful conservation view but check this out you come through your master bedroom double sink corian countertop jetted tub big beautiful walk-in shower lots of light and then into your closet with a solar tube so i haven't turned on any lights tons of storage area and then back out to your laundry room and then your garage well what kind of car is that i have no idea porsche it is wow look at all these planes this guy loves his toys so look this, at this car what this is marvelous this is this just shows you the different personalities now these folks are still living here and the other house in Royal Highlands that we just visited on Princess Grace Court was was vacant. So, you know, it shows differently when that, that happens. So this is a, a slider that actually pushes back, which is fun, behind this wall. So when you're inside, you don't even notice that it's there, which brings your lanai into the home. They and both, again, that they front, both pocket. That's sweet. Yes, so you, they all pocket, pocket. All of them. Look. And if you're out in your conservation area and you want to just that's actually really cool. I'd be out here all the day. Well, it's and cool. this uh, this right here is magic glass. So if someone walks by, you look skinny and hot. All right, so All right, so house number three. House number three is 26311 Newcomb Circle. This house is 1,661 square feet. Newcomb. Uh, it's 661 square feet, and that does not include the Lanai, which is a um, 
enclosed Florida type room. So it's even, it feels much larger than that. It is a two bedroom, two bath, but it does have a den. So literally, if you put a closet in that, it'd be a three bedroom, two bath. It's on a beautiful lot with lots of green space in the back. And uh, let's go check it out. So as you see, this home is, it has an entrance, which is kind of nice. They've offset it with this half wall. It's nice and open though. This is your formal living area, big window that has a nice view of your crepe myrtle. And then this is your formal sort of dining area. You do have eating space in the kitchen, which we'll show you. Let's start on this side of the house with the um, main bedroom. Justin's making me take you into the garage because he knows how important it is. But with these Pringle built homes, they often put the pegboard along the side. Hopefully it's not too dark. They did for coolness keep their blinds down, but there is a side door as well as a side window. This is a little bit of an extra long garage, which is nice. And keep in mind that HVAC is December of 2019. You do have your inside utility room. You've got your laundry, uh, washer dryer. You also have your, I call it a slop sink. I don't know what you guys call it, but it's a utility sink. Here's your main bedroom. Now again, a nice oversized room, lots of windows, and you're gonna see the beautiful space you've got behind your house. So it's super private, very green. Yeah, that's so far like there's tons of natural light coming in and then all of the windows have uh, greenery or even the crepe myrtle offset. So there's plenty of natural light coming in, but every window you look out is like super green. Super green. You guys will see that. Like literally that's a super awesome private view. Yes. And so you do have your ceiling fan in this room as well as a <laughs> very large full length of this room walk-in closet. Yeah, this is big. And then a nice wide entry into your um, master bathroom with d dual sinks, a great big linen closet, and then this has got a stand-up shower. And it is tiled with grab bars. So this is another floor plan that is a true split floor plan. You have your uh, office den and your second bedroom on that side, which we'll go to next. But let's walk on into the kitchen. It's your standard kitchen from back in the day. This might need a little updating, but it, at it's very well 275 kept, nine with a new rear roof, new AC, new hot water heater, and a private view, it's a perfectly priced home. You've got a nice big pantry area for this size home. You've got a beautiful refrigerator, dishwasher, of course. This is a Corian countertop with a, you know, this is part of the countertop sink. Oh, sink yeah. And then you've got your beautiful bay window and your eating space in your kitchen. Again, ton tons of greenery out of the windows. And honestly, um, this does feel like, you know, maybe original or whatever, but it's super well maintained. Well maintained and super clean. And, you know, I've seen people just sort of do these up with a nice the knob or, or just refinish. I've seen people paint them too. I was about to say, you could paint these and this would have a completely different feel. Have a completely different feel. So this is a beautiful room. And folks, you will use this room a lot. Consider the fact that it's pretty darn warm outside today. There's no AC. This doesn't count in your square footage, which is why this is super reasonable priced. Um, but we're standing here and it, you can't tell it. It's not hot at all. It's no, super it comfortable. And then look at these beautiful windows. It's sort of built in like a Florida room. You have a patio out back for a grill area. And again, um, very private. You'll note that there's sliders into your dining area and then into your kitchen. And then you have a nice big window into that third room, which is a den, which is offset here. So on this side of the house, you've got uh, a true bedroom because it has a closet, your, your guest bathroom and your second bathroom. And then an extra room, which is a den in this home, but you could add a closet and it would be a third bedroom. All right, fantastic. That was three homes for sale. Uh, if you guys are interested in these properties, feel free to reach out. We can give you more information on them. Or of course, we have specialists in 55 plus communities all over Florida that we can get you connected with. They're a great resource if you're considering a 55 plus community. Anything else you'd like to add, beautiful mother? No, but thank you so much for watching. We do appreciate it and so do our sellers. Uh, this is a phenomenal area to live. Give us a call. Cool. Talk to you soon. See ya.